Hey all, thanks for joining me today on this Fields of Dreams. I am uh, just had some meetings at uh, with Bishop Brennan of the Diocese of Wheeling, Charleston, and took a quick ride over to Muskingum University. You may recall I interviewed Danny Gunderson, who was the head women's coach, who I might connect with a little bit later, I hope. Um, and so I'm gonna do a walk around. Uh, like, in case you didn't know, this is a this is a beautiful campus. It's a beautiful location. This is sort of the front of it, sloping down. There's some buildings and buildings, and it goes back that way down. Like it's hilly as you would expect in southeast, I guess, of Ohio. Um, but anyhow, so here I go. I gotta say, this place is a lot different than it was in the 80s. going yet but I'm sure I'll find it. This looks like a main quad area. That's a gym right there which is where I'll be heading to. I'm gonna wander over this way. So this is kind of hilly and some of the views are really cool especially now and all the foliage and it's a little breezy. Walked into uh, one of the buildings, and um, I remembered that the because of a classroom named the Anne and John Glenn classroom. Um, that John Glenn, the great American, served World War II, became an astronaut. I think he was a senator or congressman or um, representative, and uh, his wife, um, Anne, who um, was um, both obviously got degrees here, and um, I think she was a music major, and so that building where I was in, you know, had a bassoon room, so maybe bassoons are big here. Um, I'm gonna start wandering to the other side. I'm still up on that hill and I'm gonna start wa walking towards Hope, the athletic facilities, and figure out where the heck I am. All right. I think that's a great question to ask about this YouTube channel. I'm sorry, but that's a strike against Muskegon. So here we are at the Muskegon Field. There's the scoreboard, um, the benches, which kind of This is strictly for men's, women's soccer and lacrosse. Yeah, lacrosse the stands. So back in the day when I was as stellar as I thought, we used to play, we think, on that field over there, which was a weed. Um, it was atrocious, but um, clearly that is not the case anymore. 
I'm gonna come back here. I'm enrolling, coach. Play for a women's game, you know, put long hair on or something. All right, I do have to say, Coach Gunderson was kind enough to walk me around, check out the field, talk to me about the different stuff. I will say, I can speak very clear when you walk around, like Stigum has made a commitment to athletics. Um, that, uh, oh geez, stairs, more stairs on the hottest, humidest day. Um, that you could see, right? Like everything behind me, the football field and stadium, the soccer stadium. I mean, you know, that just shows, I think their commitment to, you know, making programs excel, and, you know, raise the profile some, somewhat. So, sorry, I can barely breathe, holy smokes. All right, so now the important thing. I gotta find out. All right, bye. All right, that's it for me. Um, so, a couple things. Uh, the one important lesson that you learn when you come to Muskegon, the campus maps they have don't show the hills. So, just a fair warning if you're gonna walk from one end of the campus to the other. Um, there is no freshman 15 at Muskegon, maybe more like freshman seven, and everyone has killer cabs. So, um, with that, about another note, there you go. Go Muskies. You think there's some public bathing rules around here? It is nice and warm.